Hey, Andy Berkey. Today we're going to do um, kind of a real-time video. Um, I'm not going to edit it a lot, but the, the last Shaper video that I did, I sped up the actual cutting. So I figured this time I have um, made a few cutting board blanks, and I thought that we would go through in real time and uh, show you how fast the origin is cutting uh, designs that are in the shaper hub now so this will be a good demonstration I think of not only the speed of which the shaper can cut but also um, I'm gonna feature one of my favorite parts of the new Berryessa update software update the ability to resize designs on the machine which for a guy like me who isn't real big into Fusion 360 or other design softwares, that's a big deal. Okay, let's get to it. So I've got my waste board now, and then what I've got is some half inch MDF board that I'm gonna make three pieces of <clears throat> that will, I'll apply the shaper tape to all three of these, and then this can become sort of a semi-permanent workspace where after I get these guys squared up, I can put them in here and shove these guys close and then scan a new workspace into the shaper. Uh, I've milled all these to the same thickness as this so that they're, they're all in one plane. Okay, so the theory here is this guy stays permanent, these guys are mobile, I will take a blank, shove it in here, shove those tight, I'm going to clamp this down, and then what I'll do is kind of push this one this way to, to clamp this guy in in place. So I'll just walk you through this as I go. Uh, the blank is the same height as the boards with the shaper tape on them and um, I'm just gonna give it a little bit of hot glue here and then I'll go ahead and squeeze those boards together. So the purpose of this of having the shaper tape on these boards is that I will be able to use far less tape per cutting board blank because all I'll have to do is apply the tape on the board itself instead of all around it. So I'm pretty accurate when I apply the tape as far as cutting it goes because you can just rip it, but if you rip through one of the dominoes, it, it becomes uh, ineffective. The, the shaper can't see it. So I just give it a real light going over with the utility knife and uh, that way I get the most mileage out of my uh, dominoes. I'm just going to add a few extra little ones here. I'm not sure that they're necessary or not, but um, I've found that if you try to be stingy with the shaper tape, it comes back to bite you. So. So I'm going to go ahead and scan it all in again. This is a refreshing of the current workspace. I 
And now the shaper is stitching all of those images together so it knows where it is in the universe. I'm getting a rough idea of how big my blank is here. So then I can go right to the design in Shaper Hub. Now I can see how big the design is and I know it's too big for this blank so I can go ahead and resize it. And then go ahead and place it wherever I want on the board. It's kind of cool because with the design in the blank I can I can move that around twist it to see what I like as far as designing where I want the actual features in the blank. I'm going to go ahead and knock out the thumb hole first. And I'm going to cut this at a quarter inch depth to begin with. And then I'll go ahead and make another pass that is uh, just a little deeper than the board itself. Now I'll cut the outside of the board. I am going probably a little slower than normal. Uh, I have a few miles on this bit that I am using and also this is some pretty hard maple that I'm working with. Okay, lap one is complete, and now I'll go back to the thumb hole and recut it. This is a mistake I made. Um, I went ahead and started re recutting this, but if you notice, I forgot to change my depth. So right now I'm wondering, wow, this is cutting really well. And then pretty quick, I'm going to figure out what I did.
Oops. What the? Oh. There you go, big fella. See, that's rocket scientist right there. So I am setting this just a few thousandths below what I know the depth of the board to be. I think I ran this pass at 0.54 inches. Now it feels like it's cutting something. can teach an old dog new tricks. All right, one more lap around the outside and we're good to go. Putty knife, pop away some of that uh, hot glue, ready to go. The shaper tape doesn't really leave any residual that I, could, I have ever found. It actually peels away very nicely. So there you have it. Reshaping, resizing things on the shaper is just brilliant. I can do any kind of scraps that I have for doing these silly cutting boards. I can just glue them up in any way and then resize them to the blank. It's, it's a game changer as far as the software goes. I hope that explains a few things. If you have any questions or whatever, Leave them in the comments below, and uh, thanks for watching. I appreciate it.